This is your weekly trip to paradise, Louisiana style, with Gary Rasponi. Paradise, Louisiana is brought to you by Circle K, Murphy Law Firm, Veterans Help Foundation, Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company, Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change, Louisiana Fish Fry Products, Demco, CCA Louisiana, and the CCA Louisiana Star Tournament, Louisiana State Parks, Relief Windows, Visit Baton Rouge, and by Farm Bureau Insurance. Welcome to this week's Distant Paradise, Louisiana. Here we are again, Segan Lane, Superior Bait and Tackle. And we finally going to get to get a little update and catch up on some, a lot of things that Mr. Jason Bland. Now, Jason, you've been so busy, and I know I've been hard to catch up with you. You got so many things going on, and we've been putting off. We got, and we're not through. We're going to catch up. Today on some of the videos that have been running all year, but I'm still waiting on a few deer footage, but this man ain't even been home yet. So from the Sportsman Show, Jason, thank you for coming. I know I pick on you a lot and fuss at you. I don't know how you do it. How them ribs doing? Still, I'm hurting today. Been a long week. It's long been a long week, week at the Louisiana week. Sportsman Show. And you got, you got, you got another two months of busy, busy schedule. Yes, sir, we do. Well, Jason. You know, I, we've been running also a, a major banquet that you had in Scott, Louisiana, your Katie Anna banquet, the Dream banquet. Uh, you, you had a lot of the people that you hunted, hunted with. We had our good friend, uh, Mr. Frenchy. Mr. Frenchy. Mr. Mr. Frenchy Crochet. That's right. That was about the fourth function I've been to that he's been already. He's spreading his time out. He's an amazing man. But uh, we had two... Two kids that had Down syndrome, and I enjoyed being around them. You know, with Down syndrome is within my family and friends have been around. But uh, I, I know in the future, I, I keep waiting. And you, you take these kids, I've taken muscular dystrophy kids, you take them on hunting trips, uh, different excursions. You know, where are you finding people that do that? They finding you? Uh, lately, it is, is that they've been finding us because for 10, 11 years now, we've been doing, you know, some good work and um, we just tell people to contact us through our website and stuff and it's been a blessing because once you meet like say a kid with Down syndrome of course they're into like the Down syndrome society who we support also they know other kids with Down syndrome and our rule of thumb is you know we'll bless a child or an adult or a veteran and then they may wait three years we ruin them though because like we'll get them to go ahead and killed a nice buck or catch a big fish and then you we want to spread out the blessing so that's why they have to wait a little while so well, everybody knows you somebody. didn't spread them out with me you ain't been here enough but he's gonna be coming back during the, during the summer and before he really gets busy in hunting season again and he travels all over the country jason but uh not only you but i had a pretty busy week too so you know i went to your banquet last week and come back I'm, i made a trip to the Louisiana sportsman show that was amazing best Best show ever around. Tony and Ann and all the Jack fishing, all them that puts this thing on is tremendous. We're going we're gonna to make a little visit there, see all the jumping dogs and the people and the food and can't stop. And you, you, you were running two booths. You had the kids fishing. We did. You had a lot going on. I made another trip right there by my house. And as I see it there all the time when I go to the store. You know, I go to Oak Point and I'm in that parking lot and I see the kids, but I've never seen as many as I saw the other day. Right. So I had to go find out what was going on. I went in there and it was full of kids from Central Area High School. This high school archery. We've always supported high school archery, whether it was the wildlife and fisheries put them on and all the hunting and fishing days and the, the state and the national championships they belong. 4-H is another one with all the shooting sports, and not only this gun, but archery. Archery is fast growing. You want to see how fast we're growing? Wait till you see this little interview and some of this video I took at Gotham. Find out you also good friends with them. They do a lot with your organization. Yes, we've had a fundraiser over there before. Mr. Ken, actually Ken moved from New York to come down here to the, the central area, to the Oak Point Shopping Center. 
and he took a chance, and his business has grown, and Gotham Archery has been a huge, you know, him and Jeremy Kirkwood, that people that volunteered to help him get it going, but to see the things that he's doing with the kids in the high schools in teaching not only archery, but axe throwing. It's amazing, you know, when you get a kid or a child or anybody off the street. I pick on them all day, you yeah. know. Yeah, I thought they got, they're going to have axe throwing all day. They're going to be Native American. Yeah, but he you got, got a Chinese all. American. Yeah. I love it. I love you got an Asian. Asian Cajun. I love it. That's my Asian Cajun friend. That's my Asian Cajun friend, too. Now. We don't even know how to pronounce his last name. It's well, we're going we're gonna, we're gonna to visit them real quick. And that we got our tournament report. We got a lot of news items that came up. We had a little change in the goose season and everything. And plus, we got our fishing report. Stay tuned for more Paradise, Louisiana. We got the man. Finally got him here. I don't know how long we can keep him. We got him here. I'm Brett Favre. As a quarterback in the NFL, if I didn't stay focused, I ended up on my back or worse. Even the smallest distraction could make a good play or offensive drive come to an end. When you're in a car, the smallest distraction could end much more than a drive. It could end someone's life. Just like I refuse to lose on the field, I refuse to lose someone I love to distract the driver. And you should too. Focus on the road. Don't drive distracted. A message from Farm Bureau Insurance. For generations, anglers from across the globe have put their trust in Abu Garcia because out here on the water, we know our science is your religion. Fish like a fanatic with the latest generation of Revo, featuring up to 24 pounds of max drag, designed for leverage and power, built on corrosion resistance and comfort. World-class adventure awaits with Revo, Abu Garcia for life. The perfect event calls for the perfect spread of authentic Cajun cuisine. And Catering Cajun has the planners, packages, and chefs to ensure your event is long remembered. For weddings, corporate lunches, or anything in between, give us a call. Fishing. It's where good stories come from. It's about good times and family and friends. It's about taking a couple home for dinner tonight and saving a few for tomorrow. It's all about that and so much more. To CCA, fishing is about enjoying today and making sure tomorrow is even better. To us, fishing comes with a responsibility for the resources we enjoy so much. If fishing means all that to you, then you belong with CCA. Welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana. Let's say no more. Jason, take us on a trip. Couple of your big trips all the way this past year. Tell us all about it. Tell us about them alligators. Well, I'll tell you what, we had some great alligator hunts. We went to um, right around the Plocheville area with Jason Lemoyne with Good Hope Timber and JPL Investments yeah, and Stephen that? Rico. Yeah, you know, they got a name for them. Yeah, that's the... Um, a Vols Boys. A Vols Boys. And just great friends of mine for the last 12 years. And we was able to take um, some kids to go alligator hunting. Whether they were kids or adults, it was totally awesome. One of the kids we was able to take, his name is Hunter Hoffman. He's from the Ponchatoula Hammond area. Hunter was diagnosed with cancer um, probably about four or five years ago, and he battled through the, the chemotherapy and everything. And if you watch, you'll be able to see some of the footage that uh, we was able to catch, and he got him a nice alligator. I'm going to get had to cancel it and she started her. Oh, yeah. Good job, buddy. Hold on, buddy. Let me see. Look. Look, look at the camera. You got it, bub. Good job, hey, good dude. Good job, dude. Got him. <laughs> Give your daddy a hug, buddy. Hey, congratulations, dude. Good job. I, I that was... knuckles. Hunter, how was that? It, it was, was that... Yeah, it was fun. Was that awesome? Well, I'm going to tell you, listen. This is Hunter. This is his first alligator he's ever killed. And what I was explaining to him, you know, what we're doing here is population control. We're unfortunate. The landowners give us these tags 
you know, harvest the alligators over there properly because they're kind of getting out of control and they want us to do them. But you, know, you got the right way and the wrong way. We got the tags. Every every harvested alligator we kept, we keep. Mm. You got to stick the tag in it. And believe it, this is the most dangerous part of alligator hunting. It's trying to put this tag in there and tell them why. Because they, they, they fight, and most of the time a knife will slip, and you actually cut yourself. Mm -hmm. But this time we did good. And where are we at over here? Want to clip it? Clip it. You're good, That's good. Hunter what? Hoffman. Hunter Hoffman, 2018 alligator at Old River in Ennis. What you got, Hunter? Boy, that's a good one, dude. It is a good one, dude. Not only, but it was, it was awesome because Jason took time, Jason Lemoyne took time, and we were educating the kids on not only safety, but also how you have to do nuisance control. You have to control the population. And that's what we try to teach the kids. It's not about going kill. It's not about the big bucks. It's not about the big alligators or the big fish. It's about getting them in the outdoors and being able to teach them, you know, the da most dangerous part, he says it in the video, the most dangerous part is not shooting the alligator. It's when they go to put the what, tag what on. What I like about that, my balls boys, is uh, they eat everything they kill. They eat the more than what they kill. The time I didn't see, you know, they went on a hunt in Wyoming that time, that coyote hunt with those, with those race dogs, them greyhound dogs, and I, I didn't think they ate them coyotes, but they eat. When they I don't even cook. want to talk about that, because that's nasty. Tell me about it. Tell about me. what, eating coyotes? No, I ain't talking. Go ahead and tell me about what, what some more we got coming up. So besides that, we was also able to take Mr. Noah Walters. Now, Noah, um, I don't know the specific diagnosis of what he was born with, but Noah has his own little outdoors adventures. And Noah is confined to a wheelchair from a child uh, birth defect. And his mom and dad and Mr. Denise and them, they've, they've been just totally awesome people. So for many years, I've heard these people promise this child, we're gonna, his goal was to get an alligator. He's killed a deer and stuff like that. And for many years, his family, and this is what we hear a lot, a lot of people promise these kids, promise them, we're gonna take you on it, we're gonna get you this. So these kids get their hopes up and their dreams up of being able to harvest something or go on this trip, yet they get let down. I mean, that's one thing we do not promise. We do not promise, you know, we'll try our hardest to get your child on a trip or the disabled veteran and their families on one. But, you know, when you start letting the kids' feelings down and they gotta wait another year, it truly affects them. So we came and we said, his mom and him said, it was a last minute thing and they said, you know, Jason, we're we, we looking for a alligator hunt. I said, well, you know what? Somebody just backed out. Y'all wanna come? And so he's confined to a wheelchair, and he's that's a, a blessing. That's well, that's the Lord. Coming. You know, we're yeah. a ministry, and we tell people about the Lord, and I'm not afraid to tell you that about the power of Jesus Christ. But anyway, we was able to take him, and we got him in the boat, and it was a little uncomfortable, but we were able to make it happen, especially with the Mavals boys. They actually, everybody goes over and beyond to make a dream come true for these children. I've been around Jason about six years, you know. I made a lot of trips with the Vols boys and their parents and all of them together. You know, it's a big family affair. But how, like you said, to keep from disappointing, you must be inundated with a request. So how you judge who you're going to take and who you ain't going to take? So the first, yeah. So the first thing we do, we look at the request of the, the landowner or the person that wants to take uh, or give a blessing to a child, adult, or veteran. And so we say we look at the, it's a lot of logistics involved in it. We have to look at the terrain. We have to look at the accommodations, you know, and then we go from there. And then, so then we break it down into a database. So we've got, I'll tell y'all right now, I've told a lot of people this, you know, 70 to 80% of the people that we take are from the South Louisiana area. That's where the majority of our support comes from. I'm not wow. embarrassed to tell people that. And then we branch out to other areas. And when I say South Louisiana, that broadcasts into Mississippi also. Um, so that's how we choose them and, you know, we actually get our board members to actually vote upon the process of it and it's a lot of logistics involved. There's a lot of homework done before. To pay for this, there's a lot of fundraisers too. We're going to talk more about that later when we come back. And Jason, is there any other video you sent to Chris right now? Is there anything you want to talk about again? 
Well, I know you had said that we were going to come back. You're going to show Rosalind up at the banquet stuff. Yeah. But uh, we're going to come back with her hunting video stuff from the Texas hunt. We had a River Paris blowout in Three Rivers, Texas this past year. It was totally awesome. We've got some a little bit of footage from that stuff. So we're going to... Good job, five shot Noah. <laughs> Head to your left. Yeah, you see how he curled up? No! You got you a big one! What you think about that? Is that your first alligator? Yep. First Amen. Praise God. Thank you for that hard. Like that, hey, we always. Little for the big gate in the boat. Thought it's the kiss of death. We just gotta get it right behind the head and pull the trigger. All right, you ready? Ready. Get it. That's the kiss of death. There we go. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Noah, go ahead and tell us the difference between your shot and your daddy's shot. He can't shoot, he can't shoot a snake at with a pistol. <laughs> so your dad's sight is kind of off? No, he just scared. Did you scare your dad is scared? <laughs> So how many yeah. shots you All think it took to kill that big alligator? Six. About six? Well, I, you, it was teamwork, though. Yep. Because without your dad, yep. right? Because our greatest dad is Jesus Christ. Yeah. Right? God. Yeah. So thank you, Daddy. Yeah. I'm John Jackson, and you know we always say we gather our groceries out the bayou. Whether it's freshwater, saltwater, catfish, redfish, you have tons of choices when it comes to fish in Louisiana. But when I fry fish, there's only one choice, and that's Louisiana fish fry. My new favorite, the Cajun fish fry, has the perfect amount of cornmeal, corn flour, and the perfect mix of spices that really bring the heat. Hey, if you're craving Cajun, go look for the bright red bag at your local grocers. Bring home the taste of Louisiana with Louisiana Fish Fry. The perfect event calls for the perfect spread of authentic Cajun cuisine. And Catering Cajun has the planners, packages, and chefs to ensure your event is long remembered. For weddings, corporate lunches, or anything in between, give us a call. Welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana. Let's talk about the number one outdoor show probably in the South, uh, Louisiana Sportsman Show. And, and by the way, and more on mind, y'all, this thing is so popular. I think it broke all records, Jason. I think Every so, too. Every time I saw you, you were busy. I couldn't find you. Half the time you, you were moving. You was in the back. You had a fishing contest. Huh? How'd that nice. come out? It was awesome. We had 26 kids that participated for the first time in the 40th annual some show. Fish? Well, we caught a few fish. You know, the, the winning weight was 0.4 ounces. Oh, boy, that's a big one. But for a kid, that's a trophy. But, but you know what excites me, and that not only all the products you get there, the sales of the men, you know, and they had their own tent where their product is, the Louisiana Sportsman, Ann and them and all of them. They work so hard. Ann, Ann and Tony... You know, they mix, you don't, they don't see each other half the time. You know, every night they had something for, for all the vendors, you know. And you know who was cooking that, huh? Tony's daddy. Uncle, Uncle daddy. Otis. Uh, Otis Taylor. Uh, Uncle Otis. Uncle Otis. I don't, I don't remember, that's Mr. Taylor to me. 
But he had Pastor Lyon, he had different things in there, and he was, he was always working, caring, nice. That whole family are not scared of work. From Tony and Ann to the kids, they work. But they a lot of shout-out has to go out to the people that work for Louisiana Sportsman and the publishing agency because these are the guys, the back-breaking work that goes behind the entire show also. Oh, like no doubt Jeff about and Jack, you know, oh, and that oh, whole yeah. crew, well, Juanita. We, we had the boys that were that come from uh, Southern Southern Boys Outdoors in Hammond. They do a website and big about like you right now. He was out there getting interviews and talking to people, but uh, he got Jack. Jack is telling you right now. The the la the week before the Grand Isle Rodeo week, the, the, I think it's the third week in July. You know they're going back to the Superdome. A lot of those vendors right there that got through, they thought we weren't going to come back because uh, what, you, what you call the deer people, uh, QDMA? Mm -hmm. QDMA, they, they rotate. You know, they're going to go back to Georgia. So they thought some of the vendors, they already are booking right now for the Superdome. So don't forget the Superdome. And before we get out of here, I had an interview at Gotham. With Mr. Kenshu and Mr. Bobby Tarver talking about what they're doing and right. what they can do, how to get in touch with them, and if you got your high school in it, especially in that area around them, but anywhere in the state, 4-H, wildlife and fisheries, if you want to get involved in archery, that's where you go. So let's go see what's happening. I'm Bobby Tarver. I put together the uh, Central High School Archery uh, team. Uh, we started that and Ken's going to kind of tell us what he has done to help us out here to, with the kids at Central High School. So Ken, kind of tell us what you do uh, to take care of this organization. Sure. What we're trying to do is launch a real team with real coaching and real equipment. So basically the kids come in once a week and they actually have a real high school team. We're hoping to really launch this, keep this going in future years. And if there's any other schools in the local area that want to do this, give us a ring up at info at GothamArcheryBR.com or call us at 225-400-6349. We really want to get this to be an intramural sport. There's no reason why we can't be at the same level as football, basketball, and baseball. There's no better way to cool down this summer than with a delicious, thirst-quenching Polar Pop Cup from Circle K. The Polar Pop Cup is the coolest way to beat the heat. Fill your Polar Pop Cup up with the flavors you crave and crushed or cubed ice. Nothing stays cold longer, so you can stay refreshed all day long. Stop in Circle K today for an ice-cold Polar Pop Cup. Polar Pop Cup, only at Circle K. Take it easy. The perfect event calls for the perfect spread of authentic Cajun cuisine. And Catering Cajun has the planners, packages, and chefs to ensure your event is long remembered. For weddings, corporate lunches, or anything in between, give us a call. For the thirsty, for those who hang out in packs, for heroes, for sidekicks, for those who see the glass half empty, for those who see it half full, for those on the right, for those on the left, for those with nicknames, for those with curves, for people that cycle, for people that recycle, for BFFs, for frenemies, for those with style, for lovers, for families, for big families, for everyone. Welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana. Jason, we're getting ready to do the bath, tournament report, rodeo report. Everything is getting ready to happen right now. From now all the way through the spring, you know, there's going to be bass tournaments, rodeos, and everything comes. Some of them fundraisers. You got a big one coming up. I'm going to mention you first. Go ahead. Tell all me right, so we got, got our sixth annual um, Bass Classic coming up this year. We decided to add Bremen Sokolay to the tournament. It's going to be held on Saturday, April 6th. Captain's meeting on Thursday, April 4th. Everything being held at the St. James Parish Boat Club. Thanks to our good sponsors with the United Steelworkers and Shell Oil and a couple other ones like Samuel and & Sons and Greater River Industries and Associated Terminals. They all have been a true blessing to support our vision of being able to raise funds to continue to do what we're doing. But I tell you what, you know, Highway 61, the Allen Highway, you're down there. Last year I was there. 
The food was excellent. They had a cooking contest. They had music. Like, they got it again this they year. They were inside. If it rained, it, everything exactly right. worked beautiful. And Jason, I'm looking forward. I hope you got to let me be there again. Uh, you, you said you. I'm, I'm trying to lose weight and everything, but you know, your, your mama always comes on there and she brings she Big brings cookies. them Italian cookies. You know yeah, how to say good. that in Italian? No, how you say that? Huh? No, I don't. Cusadilla. Cusadilla. Something like that. I'm not a. Let's get I'm back to the report. How about that? Okay, go ahead. One of our other sponsors, I got to mention them right now, that joined up with us, the Louisiana Wildlife Agents Association. We got contacted from Mr. David Boudreaux and Mr. David Modair this last couple months, and they actually, even after doing it for 10 years, they wanted to see because they heard that we were getting, you know, support from Illinois Department of Natural Resources, South Carolina, Mississippi Department. And they're like, we want Louisiana to be involved. And I'm like, sounds good to us. So they actually coming out. We got a five station kids field day that day also. Education, archery, Gotham Archery. We got target shooting. We got bank fishing. So it's going to be a whole nonchalant thing, just a whole fun day. We even got Cajun rods that even donated a beautiful pole for a prize for the uh, the kids fishing okay. tournament. You got them here. Go ahead and pan them. Oh, I'm going to pan them because Jason. Well, well, look, we got got some big things happening right Let's now. Let's go ahead and We got some that. reports right now. And uh, Big Bass, Bass Master Classic, the Big Daddy of them all. You know, I said something the other day about the World Series. It's Major League, Major League Bass Fishing is just trying to take over and getting a lot of those guys that fish the Bass Master Classic but some of them fish both the Elite Series and all the things. We had our local guys. First, I'm going to tell you about our local guys. Dan Cardinal stayed there all the time. He stayed around 32nd, 33rd. He stayed there and everything. Come out win $10,000, you know, and that ain't bad for his first one. Now, Daryl Spore, one of yep. them boys that helps you all the time with your Trinity Outdoors, Disabled Ventures. Uh, Gerald, uh, he finished 44th. That was great. You know, That's but, awesome. But... Yeah, you, you're going to see him around. He's always there. So I want to congratulate them. Art Defoe, that's a famous name. I got Art Defoe on camera at the Red River one time. I followed him all day. He's a, he's a tremendous fisherman. Uh, Jacob Wheeler come in second. Jesse Wiggins come in third. Mike Iaconelli, the little Italian boy from New York, he come in, he come in fourth and that's Mark Daniels. I kind of ought to read my writing there. Mark Daniels come in fifth. So, and you can go to the website and you can see whatever. You go to Bassmaster Classic and you can hear the stories and you can see pictures of all the people you want to know the pros. Now, right here locally, uh, let me let me get my paper straight, Jason. I ain't as organized as you. We had the Kiwanis. That's the big one out there at Fox River. Uh, by the way, let me compliment. Let me compliment these fishermen. You, Sunday, how, how was that wind cold out there at the Sportsman Show? I'm moving, around, I'm moving around so much, I don't get time oh, to get cold. Oh, it was blowing through that thing, it through them tents, everybody outside, everybody's finding jackets. But uh, that wind was bad two days. So them guys scouting and fishing, the Qantas, and my hat's off to y'all, how y'all found them fish and what y'all caught and how y'all fished that lake. It's a lot lake, of tough work. Because that lake gets rough. Uh, Patrick, I mean, uh, Spencer Grimio and Patrick Rachel had 18.24 pounds. Brad Bowie and Steve Bowie was second with 17.5. Third was uh, Jay Watson and O. I look like Scamp to me. Scamp. That's huh? old Scamp. Scamp. That's what it looked scamp. like. Yeah, but I, I said, I, I was trying to say, they sent it to me, handwritten too. It was a little scratchy, but I want to thank y'all. They made the effort to send it that's to right. me Sunday night late. I appreciate it. Uh, I, I don't know if that's Will Major, that's Double Major. Will Major's one of them, False River. Francisca, I don't even know that name. I can't unread it, but he had 14 pounds, and, and uh, that might be Chuck Ballard and D. Lejeune. They had 14 pounds. Big Bass, Spencer, Spencer. Grimio, and Patrick Rachel. So that's them. Uh, oh, Lord. I hear we, we, had the, we had the TFA. 
IFA, excuse me, Redfish, Louisiana Division, out of the feet. First place, big time. Almost eight pound average of two fish. Gary and Gus Wilson, you see them along and many times in there. That was on Saturday. And then, them guys, by the way, ran to Venice uh, on that first day on Saturday. But on the second day, the kayak guys, I'm, I'm sure they didn't run to Venice. So, <laughs> Francis Strand come in first place. He's from Paris Christian. Good friend with Scott over here. I thought, it, you know, somebody said he caught it on a go, but I'm getting it all confused. He caught him on a, a sea dog. A mirror lot sea dog. Yeah, on top. Boy, the boy, that must have been fun, huh? It must he have been. That 55.5 inches. Second was Terry Fan. But you know, the Asians taking over, man, that business, huh? Yep, and he just Them caught it on the uh, four horsemen cork in the big gulp. I said, on a gulp. That's a good sponsor. You don't know about a the A big gulp, isn't that a drink? Uh, no, a gulp. <laughs> Caught it on a, a Berkeley. We caught it on a, on, <laughs> on a little bitty small bait like that, a three and a half inch or four inch swimming mullet, short truth. And then what Mr. Toops was telling us is that, you know, they're, they're, they're kind of going back and forth on social media because they say, you know, he's just running them, you know, just using these awesome baits and not too many people use them. So it looks like that's the hot bait. Uh, people use gulp, man, but believe me, we know about lie. Want me to tell you what they caught them on Saturday morning at the sportsman show? What you call? Donuts with spit on it. What kind of spit? Your spit. Yeah. <laughs> that is what the kids caught bass and brim on at the sportsman show. Uh, Donut. Hot bait, man. That's Go our, to your local bakery. That's our turn of report. Stay tuned. We'll come back with some news and events. <laughs> Ask me about my Tempur-Pedic. Ask me how fast I fall asleep. Why not talk to someone who's sleeping on the most highly recommended bed in America? Ask me about staying asleep. Tempur-Pedic owners are more satisfied than owners of any traditional mattress brand. Ask me how it feels after 10 years. Tempur-Pedic, the most highly recommended bed in America. Ask about Tempur-Pedic at Olin's, where you know you always get the guaranteed low price. Olin's is the only store in Baton Rouge and Lafayette with the full line of Tempur-Pedics. I'm Brett Favre. As a quarterback in the NFL, if I didn't stay focused, I ended up on my back or worse. Even the smallest distraction could make a good play or offensive drive come to an end. When you're in a car, the smallest distraction could end much more than a drive. It could end someone's life. Just like I refuse to lose on the field, I refuse to lose someone I love to distract the driver. And you should too. Focus on the road. Don't drive distracted. A message from Farm Bureau Insurance. Fishing, it's where good stories come from. It's about good times and family and friends. It's about taking a couple home for dinner tonight and saving a few for tomorrow. It's all about that and so much more. To CCA, fishing is about enjoying today and making sure tomorrow is even better. To us, fishing comes with a responsibility for the resources we enjoy so much. If fishing means all that to you, then you belong with CCA. When my wife and I started Relief Windows, what our goal was to give a quality job to a homeowner. Everybody's scared of contractors. We wanted to change the mold of what that is. The reason why you should pick Relief Windows to do your renovation of your home, windows, doors, hardy plank or siding, is because of the experience, quality, service of our company. We're gonna show up on time, we're gonna do the job right. The job's not done until you're happy and we're happy. We believe you deserve a quality job. Welcome back. So be a bait and tackle here on Seagan Lane. Jason, uh, I, I got some news. And uh, before I say anything else, uh, I, I want to say get well to our good friend, Mr. Barry Toops. Yeah. Scott Daddy, you know, he's over here working the show and everything. His, his daddy had a ruptured appendix. He's got to take it easy for a while. Everything's going to be good. You know, it, it ruptured. It was bad, but he got it. But I don't think they're going to be booking any trips right now in Crawfish Haven. So it's still probably be May before they start booking. But don't forget them. That's a super trip to take your family and catch. Boy, your crawfish there. You can spend the night in the, in the bed and breakfast. It, it is a super trip. You know, you've seen them on Paradise, Louisiana, and other shows. It's just 
It's just a fun tip for the kids and everybody. Well, we'll be so keeping him out brass for sure. Yeah, definitely do it. I, I don't know how you're going to keep him in bed. Scott will have a hard time <laughs> keeping him laid down because the man got a, he got a motor. He got a motor, so I want to congratulate them. Also, I want to give our condolences to one of our fishing friends and family, uh, Coach Maneri, lost his daddy. Uh, Doc Maneri, Hall of Famer, Jay County, uh, around the family all last night. Uh, just a great, great man, great history. I mean, from New York, New Jersey, to all the way to Day County and back to Baton Rouge, uh, the family is special. So forget them. Now, here we go right now. The news, the Louisiana Department of Wildlife and Fishes, the speckled trout, they're doing a study right now. They're saying they're down. Speckled trout are down. And uh, they didn't report. They've been down a couple of years. A lot of fishermen right now said they were down. Then you hear other reports coming. This is preliminary, okay? They say in the speckled trout, stock is down. They ain't changing limits. They ain't changing nothing right now. They're doing a lot of studies. Keep your reports going on. If you have reports, try to help them. Anything you contribute is good. They say the stock is down. I've said them say that before. And then all of a sudden, you remember after the oil spill, you know, you do it, all of a sudden they're showing up and you're catching trout like crazy. So we're going to see. Same thing happens with shrimp. Same thing happens with right. crabs. Things go down, go up. But right now, preliminary story saying the stocks are down. Uh, teal season, I, to I told you all last week, teal season is going to be back to six limit now. All that thing has changed. And then they had another meeting in Woodworth, speckle belly. And the snow geese and all the other geese, they, they cut the goose season from 88 days to 74. But guess what? We always wanted all this time, and a lot of people didn't have good speck days. And talking with Scott and them over there in Gator and Klondike and all them, the speckle belly season was down. A lot of them quit hunting early, but the speck season. Next year, ain't going to be 74 days, but you're going to be able to kill three instead of two. Conservation order is still in it. You know what that is. That's unlimited take of light geese, snows, and blues. So they got the season set for that for next year. Event calendar. One-man shoot. Been there every year, the one-man shoot. It'll be Saturday, March the 30th at Riverside Sporting Clays. It's for cancer research. For Tulane University, they'll be over there giving you tests. I mean, I, I don't know how many teams have been there every year. The only problem is I'm trying to make up my mind where I'm going to go for both of them. That's March 30th. It's City Park Big Bass. A lot nice of people, a lot there. of teaching wildlife and fishers got games. It's called a fishable. A fishable. Not a festival. A fishable. They got the high school competition again this year. And the kayak division is coming over there, thing. So, and that's it. And another thing coming up is Restore the Coast. They have a meeting on March 28th from 6 to 8 p.m., 3801 Canal Street, Suite 400. Restore the Coast. They're giving you information yeah. about the Mississippi River Basin and what's happening. You want an RSBP, you contact Matt at Phillips. P H I L L I P S Mac at N W F dot org. Early birds, star winner, Jules Boussard from Lafayette, Louisiana. Where did he catch? And Jason, you, you the rest it. of it is yours, all your events you got coming up. All right. So, the first thing we got coming up is our April 6th, Saturday, April 6th. Uh, Bass, Brim and Soccer Lake Classic. We got, right now, we have two definite early morning check-in locations. One's going to be at the St. James Parish Boat Club, and the other one is at the Pierre Port store in Pierre Port. And some good people have let us just go ahead in Pierre Port, let us check boats there. I have to put this on TV because if we don't have 10 boats participating from the Acadiana area, so we're trying to compete some Acadiana versus the River Parish is what I call it area. If we don't have at least 10 boats signed up, 
for the Acadiana area, then our check-in location at Courtesy Motors is going to be canceled. So anyway, that's Saturday, April 6th. We're teaming up with we wildlife. Gonna, we're going to get more. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping so. I'm hoping so. I'm trying to reach out to the Kitty Anna people. If you go by your banquet, you come in, people, you at your banquet. I understand you that. Um, but we've been having some good sponsors from that area, and we're trying to do a saltwater and freshwater tournament eventually in that area. But we'll stick with the announcements on here, right here, because that same day, we got a cooking competition. Like you said, we asked you to be a judge, but you don't know how much food you could eat. And we got some good cooks coming out there. And so we call that the Uncle Booger Memorial Cooking Competition. And you have a soup and a sauce pecan division. You got a jambalaya and you got a crackling division. And we just got all kind of food, games, and funs and entertainment that's going on. Teaming up with Wildlife or No Life is a group of guys I went to high school with that are helping underprivileged kids from the River Parish area, but they're blessing people from all over. Um, the biggest thing at that Bass Classic is our auction. We started. Uh, it was our dream four or five years ago to go ahead and hire just people with disabilities to do woodworking. So we actually started JC Wood, Wood, Wood Crafts and Arts. And we hire people with disabilities to make cedar, cypress items. And that's been very beneficial. Number one, it gets them out of the house. It gives them yeah, encouragement. I, I got one in my camp. Yeah, I, I know. Same thing, got all the base right. out of them. Fish and reel on it. Yeah. So it's been a huge Don't blessing. Play. All right, let's go. Don't get too far. What we got All right. now? We got another one coming up that a big one. And we'll show a video on that after. But right now we got our uh, annual raffle stuff that's going on. It's over twenty-five thousand dollars worth of prizes. We're gonna do that drawing at the Big Dream Banquet um, on Saturday, August the tenth, up in Lutcher, Louisiana, at the Knights of Columbus home. Twenty-five thousand dollars worth of prizes that we purchase. Um, and it's just been a huge thing, a good fundraiser for us. As you guys know, when uh, Gary was talking about all these different shoots and stuff, you have nonprofit groups. The only way to survive with nonprofit groups is not only through sponsorship, but through fundraisers. And that's why we have to do these fundraisers. Now, our biggest thing that we got coming up also, besides the Bass Classic, is coming up on May the 3rd and 4th in Iowa, Louisiana. I was approached about a year ago by Mr. Glenn Daigle with Rabidou sausage. You ever had Rabidou sausage? No, but I. It's not, very I'm famous. Fine. They you stop off the Iowa exit. Tell me, tell me about this this thing. Anyway, the 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 trail ride is going to be going on. It's a huge trail ride with antique auctions and everything. Guess who's coming to play? I said it last week. I, I didn't want to make sure he's still there. Tyler LaFosse. I didn't been on Tyler. the Tyler. His name is Gino LaFosse. I mean. <laughs> Gino LaFonce, and we got no, Mr. I, I just checking you out. Mr. Leroy. <laughs> Look at Scott Lavin. Look, you know, I played the, I played the, uh, what you call the drum, the washboard. On your stomach or on an actual no, washboard? No, I played it on that, on the, on the, <laughs> what you call it? You got me all confused, man. I'm telling you what. Well, you bought a joke We got to be there. We better you. hurry up because we got to All right, so before. anyway, we got that. Uh, it's going to be awesome. We got antique auctions we got horse trail the rides I'm going on. I'm glad you made it correct. Anybody. And uh, I want to thank you for bringing out because last week on the show you announced that I don't understand how you're having a Halloween trail ride in May. Well that was a type I of grabber grabber because it was canceled. Man. It was canceled so I appreciate you pointing mm -hmm. out my error. But anyway Saturday, Friday and Saturday May the 3rd and 4th in Iowa, Louisiana thanks to Rabidou's, Veron's, Pro River Parish Provisions, they actually helping us out big time. Um, just a bunch of people that continue to see the things that we're doing that's coming out to support us. This is the Trinity Outdoor Show. This is the Trinity, Trinity Outdoors and Fundraiser, that's been. right. Stay tuned, we're coming back with Fish Report and getting out of here. There's no better way to cool down this summer than with a delicious thirst-quenching Polar Pop Cup from Circle K. The Polar Pop Cup is the coolest way to beat the heat. Fill your Polar Pop Cup up with the flavors you crave and crushed or cubed ice. Nothing stays cold longer, so you can stay refreshed all day long. Stop in Circle K today for an ice-cold Polar Pop Cup. Polar Pop Cup, only at Circle K. Take it easy. Benny's Unlimited Wash Club membership start at $14.99 a month. Wash, 
rinse, and repeat every day. Join Benny's Unlimited Wash Club at one of Benny's seven locations. The best part about being a member of a Touchstone Energy Cooperative is that it's your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. That's the power of your co-op membership. Demco, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. Today on Dockside TV, we're going to be catching big sockelay, getting ready for the spawn, using perch popping corks and the Matrix Mini. Stay tuned for this episode of Dockside TV. John and I started off today, we had to cover some water. We didn't really know exactly where the crappie were going to be. This particular lake that we're fishing is a lot shallower than the ones that we shoot a lot of our videos in where you see it's vertical jigging. So we like to fish this one when the water temperatures start rising, when it gets more around that spawning time of year, whenever water temperatures start getting around the 60s. And when we start covering water, one great way to do it is throw in a little beetle spin. That way you can cover a lot of water fast and that's what you want to do with crappie is locate them because there's a lot of dead water crappie fishing and when you find one you'll find a lot now what we did is where we found them today we were fishing we just happened to be fishing a very windy day unfortunately we didn't know it was going to be that breezy wind kicked up on us very hard and we found the fish all tucked in this one little cove where the wind was blowing into that cove. And that's pretty typical for a lot of species of fish. Once we found them, we switched to a popping cork. And a good thing to do with crappie fishing is you always wanna give a lot of variety of options and see what's hot and what's going on. So we went to a popping cork. We always use fluorocarbon leaders when we're fishing crappie. Their vision's very good. I had on the 1 8 ounce with the Matrix Mini and the lemon head color. And what John was using was the a pop and cork again, but he had on the very the smallest jig head, the mini jig we make, the 32nd, and he had the ladies night on. Now when we throw the lighter jig head, we use a weighted cork. You know, you see a little weight on the bottom just to give you a little bit more casting distance. And when I throw the one eighth, I use an unweighted cork because if it's weighted, the heavy eighth ounce, it's gonna sink the cork. Both very effective. I would say the ladies night on a 132nd was more effective, but I love catching them on the popping pop corks. When you throw in the spinner baits though, you're gonna catch a lot more variety of fish. Bass and brim, they love these things. So it, it's just always good when you're crappie fishing to have a multitude of different techniques starting to really pick up on us here. 
We got plenty enough crappie for dinner tonight. Check out this mess of them here. Got a nice little well full of about a dozen, 15 fish. But I hope you enjoyed this episode of Dockside TV. We love crappie fishing and we love to do it in all styles. Popping corks, spinner baits, vertical jigging. It's just really, really a fun fish to catch and we had a blast catching them on popping corks today. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Dockside TV using the Matrix Mini. Make sure to check out all of our Dockside TV episodes using the Matrix Mini especially for the ones we're catching the crappie. We even have some using the mini at nighttime catching speckled trout. Until next time, good fishing. The perfect event calls for the perfect spread of authentic Cajun cuisine. And Catering Cajun has the planners, packages, and chefs to ensure your event is long remembered. For weddings, corporate lunches, or anything in between, give us a call. The best part about being a member of a Touchstone Energy Cooperative is that it's your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. That's the power of your co-op membership. Demco, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. Welcome to Berkeley Abu Garcia Fishing Report. For this week, and uh, let, let's start out with, with the Coast Report. I'm going to go back to Island Marina because I've been a constant report from them. The water over there is, is not really muddy. It's stained, but it's not really muddy. Miss Angie and them were telling me they've been, weather's been up and down. The fishing's been up and down because it's been cold one day and hot the next. Uh, very windy conditions, but they're still going in. The canals are fishing, the intercoastal canal, but in the lake itself, the captains are Clinton Deormus and uh, Drake Morbont and all them other captains, they're fishing live shrimp. She has live shrimp right now, so you don't have to worry about looking for live bait. They got live bait. Uh, they're catching reds and some speck. Look at this picture. This here might make a state record. We'll figure it out whether it was a true striper or a hybrid striper, but Drew Dubuque, the son of Mike Dubuque and the great nephew of Don Dubuque, look at this striper, 33.9 pounds on one scale that was official scale. It went from 34 to this and that, some of the scale. They went and got an official scale, and they're going to be putting up the state record. Congratulations, Drew. You talk about an outdoorsman. You talk about your uncle Don, proud of you. Uh, now, in the grand dial, Tommy Vidrain sending me some more, some pictures. But uh, he sent me some video. I don't even know if we can use it. He keeps forgetting to turn that, that, that camera sideways or that phone sideways and give me some good video. But he's catching them on live pokers. He was catching them on them topwater baits, uh, that unfair lures, that, 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 that big, oh, I guess you call it a minnow or a mullet. They've been catching, them, catching some big trout. I, mean, I, I can't tell you how many five to seven pound trout he's been released in the last few weeks. Another one he'd bait that fish in a swim bait. And I, he, he gave me some of these, but I, I don't want salt water. I want them fresh water because I'm going to fish them like a fluke. And he got all these, got all these great colors. So I want to thank the guy who gave me them. Uh, supposed to make a trip with Tommy Vidrain pretty soon. The Grand Isle, I've been getting reports from uh, Cocodree. A lot of fish being caught. The large is starting to make a comeback. Uh, but again, right now, uh, yeah, you know, stick around them lakes right now, and them fish can be turning on pretty soon. So when the, when the major league season start, April rolling around, you can count on them fish going to move in. Grand Isle right now, I would say, would be the hottest spot to go right now. They'll move up in them bays. You'll have some windy days. What they say, the March winds bring April showers. April showers bring May flowers. You're getting ready to have some hot times. Don't forget to sign up for your star, by the way. They still have early bird drawings, and you can get that, get your star ticket now, early. All right. Uh, fresh water. Everywhere I go, there are people coming up to me talking about Lake Desalmas. In fact, I had a friend, a new acquaintance. I'm sitting over there eating. 
eating some catfish and some good food, and uh, he came up to me and asked me what I thought of, about this squabble that's going to be going on in legislators about land and, and uh, posting canals and everything. And he's a landowner, so you know there's all kinds of sides. We're going to be bringing you more on that too uh, in the next few weeks. But uh, bass and sacale uh, are both biting in, in Lake Desalmas. But this man was telling me Catawatchee last week, the canals leading out of Catawatchee, people were fishing the bank and catching sacale. Unbelievable, but they were catching numbers of sacale. They were people watching, making sure they weren't catching over the limit. So it sounded like they were talking about Spanish Lake again when people fishing off the bank with, with Sacale. So if water starts going down, everything's in flood stage right now. I hear people catching fish off the levee and then yellow flowers. So in a fresh water, you can fish pit, pits and ponds right now. Those are one of the hottest things. If you know somebody, don't trespass, but if you know somebody, they let you fish their pond. Remember I told you, keep all the little fish. If they're trophy fish, take a picture and throw it back. Toledo Bend the other day, I got some great reports coming from Toledo Bend on Sacale. Uh, I heard they would catch them in 35 foot of water, but I also got a report from Dwayne Chapman, him and his sons, Jake and Travis. They were catching them, and they were catching them on a a road runner with a pink and short truce curly tail on the back. They were fishing six or seven foot of water and they were, uh, they were fishing flats with grass. So you can find them right now. You slow rolling that, that road runner around, that's the way you do it. I got, one more time. Pines and lakes, here's a picture from uh, my good friend the warden over there, Braxton Hill, his, his grandson, they could hear six pound bass. Caught in a pound. Uh, I was hoping I was going to have some pictures of Brogan Burns, a special kid that's going to fish with Danica and them in Hopedale. They canceled because of the weather. So we, whenever that happens, we'll be bringing it to you. Don't forget the Big Bass Rodeo coming up in two weeks, too. Big crowd, a lot of fun, a lot of things to do. Stay tuned. Come back next week. We have a more fish report and probably have another guest. I'm Gary Rasponi, and God bless Louisiana. Paradise, Louisiana is brought to you by Circle K, Murphy Law Firm, Veterans Help Foundation, Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company, Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change, Louisiana Fish Fry Products, Demco, CCA Louisiana, and the CCA Louisiana Star Tournament, Louisiana State Parks, Relief Windows, Visit Baton Rouge and by Farm Bureau Insurance.